In Palo Alto, California, investors and city officials celebrate the launch of a $100 million fund to invest in innovation. One of the men behind the A-plus fund is investor Tiger Sheng, who's helped more than 100 companies go public in China. The U.S. is the leader in high tech, while China has a very big market. The U.S. has a bigger capital market than China does. But in the startup field, the gap is very small. Each has its own advantages. We are coming here hoping to bridge the startup trends between the two countries to bring more interaction. The other founding partner is Michael Yu, a teacher who built an education empire. Yu's New Oriental has helped prepare millions of Chinese for college entrance exams and expanded into an education technology company. It's now listed on the New York Stock Exchange. That's why at another event at a hotel in Silicon Valley's famous Sand Hill Road, the room is filled wall to wall with Chinese students, entrepreneurs and engineers who hang on Yu's every word. When I was on my way here, I was asking my friends, has anyone in the U.S. hasn't used New Oriental before? Uh, <laughs> They're not only to teach you like, uh, how to study English, but also is like to help you to understand American culture. One of the hopes is that entrepreneurs who were once students of New Oriental and are now living in America could be potential candidates for the A-plus fund. A-plus has also set up a startup incubator here, too, and is looking to invest in everything from artificial intelligence to financial tech. It's a starting point to enter the U.S. market, but in the long run, I hope they can become a mainstream, part of mainstream U.S. Uh, business culture. He's very focused on youth development, sounds like, and he wants to see them grow and to share his success story with them. Yu's story began with humble roots, growing up poor in the Chinese countryside. He says the keys to his success are passion and persistence, something he will continue to teach both inside and outside the classroom. Mark New, Palo Alto, California. Well, Mark sat down with the co-founder of New Oriental and the A-plus fund, Michael Yu. Mark began by asking you about how he drew inspiration from his, from his humble upbringing to start his successful business. Actually, in the countryside, my parents are illiterate. The reason is that because I have seen, I, I, I saw that, uh, you know, uh, people in the countryside are living, you know, were, at that time were living uh, really, you know, I cannot say miserable, but a very poor life. So that's why I started to think that uh, the only way that I can change my fate is to uh, try my best to get uh, admission to kind of Chinese university. So I tried my best uh, to, for three years, take the national entrance examination, uh, which in Chinese means the Gaoka, the admission test, and I finally got admitted by the, one of the best universities in China, which is called the Peking University. After that, I tried my best to apply to American University to study. But uh, I got some admissions by several American universities, but were refused the scholarship. That means I didn't have any money to come. That's a starting point of New Oriental. The reason is that uh, I wanted to make more money, to make more money, to support myself. So I started this school. It's called a tutoring school called New Oriental. Started from 13 students. Because I have uh, a talent to find talented teachers, so I hired a some talented teachers. These teachers are really good and they're loved by students. So little by little, more and more students came to near into the study and the, the, the tutoring school became bigger and bigger. And then um, I gave up my idea of coming to the United, United States to study. And the vice versa, I uh, invited some of my former classmates from university who had already been finished the study, PhD or master degree here in the United States. I invited them to go back to China to, uh, to you know, work with me together. Uh, that means uh, more and more talented people join the Oriental, attracts more and more students. It's uh, become a very good cycle, you know, spiral upward going forward. So finally, it becomes a big enough, you know, uh, school and then changing to an education technology company. And uh, this company was uh, listed in 2006 in New York Stock Exchange. Every year, actually, we train about 3 million students. Uh, the revenue has reached about uh, 11 billion RMB every year. You've been very successful in China. Why come to Silicon Valley to set up a $100 million fund and an incubator? Uh, the purpose of this, uh, this fund is to 
uh, find most talented Chinese students, uh, not only students, but Chinese young people who are working here or doing startups here, uh, to help them, you know, have a closer relationship with the Chinese market. As a person who has have, have go on go on through all the you know difficulties and hardships of doing a business, I know uh, the money should be used to more young entrepreneurs, young people who want to start up their own businesses, especially in this high tech area. Uh, the other reason is that because I know that most of the students who have been studying here or have graduated from American universities were once the Oriental students. When I walked into this hall uh, just now. There are at least uh, more than half of those people sitting in the hall said that, uh, uh, Teacher Yu, I was once your student. I have the priority to invest into them, maybe. So I really think the money a person earned should not be put in the bank because it's dead money. So the money earned or the money you can use the, you know, uh, from your friends should be really invested in something new or something creative, something can cre create new values to this world. What areas of technology excite you most to possibly invest in? Most, of course, for me is technology with education. That means uh, how can combine the, this world's high technology, mobile internet era with education so that to, we can help students to study more efficiently and more, more happily, joyfully, because you know, study is, uh, at any time, is a painful thing for most of the students. So uh, that's one of the things I, 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 I interested the most. I think no matter uh, you know, artificial intelligence or you know, R, AR, VR, or MR, uh, whatever it is called, which if it's combined with education, I'm pretty sure that uh, this can make education more, more, more interesting and uh, more effective, efficient. And of course, uh, the other areas we are interested in is all, you know, no matter uh, which kind of high tech which can build up a business model and can be used by most of the people to make people's life easier and uh, have more fun. <laughs>